Yeah, there we go. Now we're recording. Hi. Is it on? Red light. Splashing it. Recording. So we're in Shea Village, and this is the uh, Shea Palace. How are you coping, Grant? First, first leg. Okay, here we are on our way to Sakti Village with the climb. And young Grant. Uh, these Gen Y kids. Uh, info about the, uh, the road situation. Oh, just taking a little breather. It's been hard work, but we're um, just about at uh, Shakti Village. It's been a long, uh, hot climb today. Oh, look, it's like we're here. Okay, hi. Uh, so here we are. This is the um, village of Sakti and we've been lucky enough to find this fantastic uh, little homestay place um, which is just superb. It's a chance, this is harder than I thought it was going to be but still managed to get here in one piece so I'm just going to keep on, keep on riding one, one wheel at a time. Tomorrow's another day as they Tomorrow's say. another day so. Yeah. We are part way up Worila and it is really hard going. So um, much steeper than anticipated and we're waiting for the road to level out but it, it just isn't. So we're not even halfway. I think we're up about 43, 4400 metres, maybe a bit more. The road's been really steep. Worse than that, I've had the song Hotel California by the Eagles like stuck in my head. Altitude starting to get to us a bit. We're sort of stopping about every kilometre now. Yeah, the road keeps sort of ramping up and flattening off. It's, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, we tried to ride Wari La. Um, unfortunately, Grant's not feeling good, so I've decided we have to turn around. So, But it's been awesome. Never been this high before. It's been an epic, epic uh, ride. Captain Log, Captain's Log, start eight, blah, blah, blah. Um, we made it. Yeah, made we it. made it. Yeah. Well, we didn't make it to the top, but that's the highest. I think we were up about 47, 46, 4700 metres. And I think uh, still lacking some acclimatising with the altitude. So, um, yeah, it was got to a point where it was a bit dangerous, so we turned around. And yeah, just in time. Um, start to get very fuzzy, you start to lose pins ability, and, pins, and, pins needles. and needles, you start to lose ability to, to make a good decision. So we've uh, just descended um, about 5k and he's feeling better, so we'll, we'll go back to um, back to Sakti and yeah, no problem, but what an amazing um, place to be. Yeah. After a few days in Lay, recovering from gastro, Grant and I have set off for Karzuk on the shore of Somori, a remote lake 4,600 metres above sea. So we're just uh, riding the um, road towards Puga. Uh, we have only travelled about 35k today. It's been all uphill. Here comes Grant on the road from Chumatang to Puga. It's been headwind and uphill all the way. We have to stop at army checkpoints regularly to have our permit stamped. A reminder of the high tension in the border areas between China, Pakistan and India. The ride up the Indus Valley is tough. Uphill, headwinds and bad roads, but the scenery is spectacular. And while the people are very hospitable and welcoming, the beds are rock hard. So we're on the road to Kozok on the, uh, the lake Somori. Roads deteriorate a bit. Look how stunning this place is. After three days riding on some of the worst roads, topping out at 5,000 metres, we finally made it to Korsuk. The crystal clear waters against the rugged snow capped mountains make for a spectacular view, worth all the effort to get here. This is the peak of our journey, and everything I imagined the Himalayas to be great experience to share with my son Grant.